okay, that just looks weird. It was better in theory. So, but hey guys, today I'm gonna be doing a book review on Land Sex in the City by Candace Brushnell. And I just recently finished it. So I'm just gonna tell you some of my opinions about it and just if I liked it or not and how kind of the format and all that is. Um, yes. So I listened to it on audiobook and it was narrated like the person who did the voice. Yep, that's exactly what narration means. Anyway, was the person who played Miranda, um, Cynthia Nixon. And I actually really liked Cynthia Nixon as the voice. It, it, it's just, yeah, I liked her. I, I actually really do like Cynthia Nixon, so it's really cool. I don't know. I would have thought that the person who played Carrie, which is Sarah Jessica Parker, would have done the voice in Sex and the City, but it really didn't matter because Carrie wasn't the main character in the Sex and the City book. And it is a standalone, for all I know. Um, yeah one book thing for for what I know and I've also read the Carrie Diaries before this so I was kind of prepared about her writing style even though normally she writes adult books and I, that's a YA book so it's yeah you know it's a little different but it pretty much was the same format as um what was it the Carrie Diaries I was really confused when I read the Carrie Diaries on why it was just felt like little mini stories and basically Sex and the City is just short stories that were put together into this one book because they were published in like magazines and stuff so it was just you know they were like oh the Sex and the City book is just different um, stories and yeah the Carrie and Big line is still there and all that but it's just not the same as the movies and shows. I think it's the acting that I love about Sex and the City also. Even though, yes, it is very, let's say, sexual. Woo. Um, it's, it has a different atmosphere. I feel like it's more playful in the TV show than it is in the book. The book is more like, you know, kind of like facts you should know about New York City if you want to be a socialite. and. Yeah, that we they do this and that. It's more, it's more in the way in a way more gossip girl where it's like we're living this fabulous life. Look at this fabulous life we live with with the Hamptons and all that. And that's kind of how it is, kind of in the book more showy showy and stuff. And a lot of the characters, their jobs are different. Their their personalities are different in the book. So, I don't know, it's it's fine, I liked the book as a separate entity, not as, like, the show, but it, it's cool. I think, I actually enjoy Brush Nell's writing, um, Candace's Brush Nell's writing, I just, I, I like it. It's interesting, it keeps you interested in the story, and, you know, even if it's bad, if it keeps you interested, it should, it, it's, it's cool, so. I don't know. The story wasn't bad. I feel like I said it's bad, but no. It's good. It's just not Sex and the City that we know and love if you've never read it. So, yeah. It was good. I liked it. Probably not gonna reread it, but I liked it. So, yeah, if you're going to the beach and you have headphones, you should just totally download this, like, audiobook and just listen to it. How about that? Just, just make sure that no one can really hear what you're listening to because they might be a little embarrassing. Just a little bit. Especially if you're my age, you know, I'm I'm only 19, so it's a little embarrassing to walk around um like listening to the audiobook. I'll talk to you guys later and just made it a little awkward for myself. Bye!